If you are in a bind and need to make a quick dinner, but you are looking for a great recipe, I've got the solution for you. Today, we are going to make a cheesy broccoli stuffed chicken recipe. It's super simple, super easy, and so delicious. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get some broccoli chopped up really fine. I am going to try to use my pole chopper. I've never used it for something like this but I will see how it goes. I can link it down below if it works out for this, but I use my pole chopper pretty much every day for chopping up onions and garlic and celery and green pepper and all that kind of stuff. I've never used it on broccoli, we'll see how it goes. We only need about three quarters of a pound, so I don't need this whole huge head of broccoli, so maybe half of it is what I'm thinking. I've been looking at a lot of recipes for this stuffed chicken and a lot of recipes use ham and make a cordon bleu. I don't really like that so I've just been kind of looking at recipes and this is basically me coming up with my own take. So we will not be having any ham in this. I am going to use the stems I just peeled them a little bit. Oh, wow, perfect. I love that. Let's move on to the next step. Some butter, a little olive oil. I didn't mean to put that much in there, but that's okay. You don't want to cook this too, too much, just to brighten it up a little bit. You're not trying to cook it through and make it brown and soggy. Salt, pepper. That's it, I'm going to cut the heat. Now I'm just throwing in a clove of minced garlic. For my cheeses, I'm using Gruyere and white cheddar and a little bit of mozzarella. You could use whatever combination of cheeses you like. I just thought it sounded good. I'm not really measuring anything. So when I write the recipe down below, I will try to give you some approximations. This is the white cheddar. I did more cheddar than Gruyere and probably equal amounts Gruyere and mozzarella, but again, do what you like. Okay, I'm just going to get these in here in no particular order. No cheese left behind. Just 
just going to toss that around. Oh, I forgot another ingredient. Dijon mustard. This is a combination, like I said, I've been looking at recipes for this. So basically I'm combining and combining recipes that I saw, kind of adding things that I, you know, liked about it and leaving other things out that I didn't. And the recipe with the Dijon, she also added, she added three tablespoons of Dijon and three tablespoons of stone ground mustard. I thought that was a lot of mustard. So that's just why I'm going a little bit lighter and just doing the Dijon. Let's see what we think about that. Okay, it looks good. It's looking good, it's smelling good. I'm just going to set this aside while we prep the chicken. You just wanna pound this out so it's nice and thin and as even as possible and obviously to spread out so that you can put the filling in and roll it up. I'm doing three of these tonight, so I will do the other two off camera and we will be right back. Okay, I have all the chicken pounded out and I salt and peppered both sides. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can roll this. Look at that. There's one. Let's get the other two stuffed and I'll show you the next step. Now we are just going to take our stuffed chicken breast, coat them with some flour into the egg and then into breadcrumbs. These are Italian breadcrumbs mixed with panko. Next, you just want to get your pan nice and hot. And then to that, I add avocado oil. And then you just want to saute the chicken breasts until they get nice and golden brown. And I just make sure that I get all the sides of the chicken breasts sauteed. Once that is done, I transfer them to my cookie sheet that I have a cooling rack on. And that goes into a 300 and 75 degree oven for about 20 minutes. I didn't use all of the broccoli cheese stuffing mixture, so I took the leftover mixture that I had and I put it over some leftover rice from the night before, and then I sprinkled that with some more white cheddar cheese, and I popped that into the oven along with our stuffed chicken. And I just thought that would be a nice lunch for anyone in my family or we could have it as a side dish for dinner tomorrow or for one of our future meals. And it turned out so, so good. Okay, I've been busy running around, but my husband said this was 
absolutely delicious. He said it was phenomenal. So let's give it a quick taste test. I feel like I'm sweating, I am sweating. This was so fun to make. I've never made stuffed chicken before. Let's see what we think. Mmm. Wow. That is divine. Really, really good. Seasoned just right. The cheeses, the broccoli, everything comes through. Delicious. I'm just going to throw a simple salad together with this, but I did also take, I showed you when I was getting ready to put it in the oven, I did have some leftover filling and I had some leftover jasmine rice from last night's dinner. So I just put it in a baking, small baking dish, the rice, and put the broccoli and cheese mixture on top, sprinkled some extra white cheddar on that and threw it in the oven when I put the chicken in. So let's give, I didn't intend that to be a side dish with this, but I just thought that would be a good use of all of my extra ingredients. Let's see how that tastes. Mmm. Wow. I love that just as much as I love the chicken. I would make this as a side dish to go with another protein. It is really, really good. I'm really happy with both of these turned out to be two recipes. We'll definitely make them again and I highly recommend them. The stuffed chicken was super fun to make too. I really enjoyed that. I just want to say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.